Welcome back to Underwater Math. I'm Astronaut Steve, and we are going to build up our skills here in space. This is the best place to learn how to compare and order whole numbers, and I have a few space friends along the way who can help us out. This is Lenny, and he put together this place value chart for you to use while we practice comparing and ordering whole numbers. As you can see, our place value chart starts at the ones place and moves over all the way to the hundred thousands place. Let's sell any 814 space tacos. We could put a four in the ones place and a one in the tens place. Now, if he ate 54 tacos, we would put a 5 in the tens place and a 4 in the ones place. You probably know that 54 tacos is way more than 14 tacos, and if Lenny ate 54 tacos, he wouldn't be feeling super awesome. But we can use our place value chart to help us compare these two numbers. When comparing numbers, we start as far over to the left as we can, and work our way back digit by digit. 54 and 14 both have a digit in the tens place, but 5 is greater than 1. This means 54 is greater than 14. To show this as a comparison statement, we can put our comparison symbol between 54 and 14. The symbol always opens up to the larger number. I'm going to invite my friend Ali, the space alligator, over to help show this further. Ali loves numbers and always wants to eat the larger numbers. Her mouth kind of looks just like a comparison symbol. Yummy. Those were delicious numbers. No, Ali, I didn't mean for you to actually eat the numbers. This happens every time. Oh well, we will just have to compare another set of numbers. Ali, please don't eat the numbers this time. The kids are trying to learn. Okay. I promise I won't eat the numbers this time. All right then, let's try another one. Lenny is still hungry. Those alien tummies must be different from ours. He is ready for some space ice cream. His first cone had 52,663 chocolate chips. His second cone had 52,691 chocolate chips. He wants to know which cone had more chocolate chips. Ali, can you help him figure out which way the comparison symbol goes? Of course I can. Especially since Lenny made us this helpful place value chart. I remember we are supposed to compare numbers digit by digit starting from the largest place value. These numbers both have a digit in the 10 thousands place, a 5. They aren't any different yet. Let's move over to the next place value. Here they each have a 2 in the thousands place. Let's move over to the hundreds. They both have a 6 in the hundreds place. So far, these numbers are the same. As we move to the tens place, the first number has a 6, and the second number has a 9. Since 9 is greater than 6, it means this entire number is greater. Now, let's set it up so that we can use our comparison symbol. We want the comparison symbol to open up to the larger number, because as we know, the alligator always wants to eat the larger number. You want me to eat the larger number? Don't mind if I do? No, Ali, we talked about this. Stop eating the numbers. We have one thing left to do with them. Oops, sorry. Here you go. Thank you. Lenny also gave me an ice cream that had 53,685 sprinkles on it. Help me put these three numbers in order from least to greatest. Remember, least means smallest, and greatest means largest. We already know that 52,663 is less than 52,691. We need to see where 53,685 falls in the lineup. Let's compare again digit by digit starting from the largest place value. They all have a 5 in the 10 thousands place, but our new number has a 3 in the thousands place. The other two numbers have a 2. This means 53,685 is greater than the other two numbers. Since we are ordering from least to greatest, this number goes at the end of my list. Next would be 52,691. Our smallest number is 52,663. Great work, Space Kids. Have fun practicing out there. 